Okay, statement of proportionality. So look, for number, because uh, five is in the video. Okay, so seven. Remember, if it has four sides, you create four ratios, and you guys just have to get the whole matchy-matchy, and then you just set it up, and you guys need to make sure you understand which is your scale factor, which ratio is the most important. Okay, do you guys want to go small over big or big over small? Small over big, why small over big, you say, Cody? Because why? What's on the small figure that we want? The x and the y, the variables. So very good. I would choose small over big because that's where the variables are. So if I go orange, 2 over 5. x over 7.5. y over 5. z over 7.5. When you guys are testing or quizzing, take a moment, make sure you kept small, big, small, big, small, big, small, big. If you switch it, one of your answers is trash, okay? All right, which is my scale factor? Which is the most important ratio? Orange, pink, green, or blue? Huh? Which is the most important ratio? Which color? Very good, orange. Thank you, Keanu. Okay, two fifths. So to solve for x, you are going to set that ratio equal to two fifths and cross product. To solve for y, set it equal and solve. And to solve for z, same thing. And so what do you get for x? Are you going to get a decimal? Or you're going to get a decimal. What do you get? Where's my calculator? Can you see? Okay, I get 15, and what's 15 divided by 5? 3, so x is 3. What's 10 divided by 5? 2. Okay, I lied, you're not going to get a decimal. And you get 3. Yes? Okay. I realize you guys can probably solve these in your head. Remember, the entire point is for you to get comfortable with the statement of proportionality. Learn to do the cross product property, even though it's excessively way more work than what you could do in your head. That's the point of it. So it's easy so that you know you're getting the right answer. The numbers make sense to you. So as we move forward, you're comfortable with the process so trig isn't difficult. Okay. All right. You guys are going to finish the front. Okay. So now we look at the back. Um, find the scale factor. Tell whether the dilation is a reduction or enlargement. Then find the values of the variable. Okay. So what's the most important part here? When you're looking for your scale factor. Here, let's write it big. When you're looking for your scale factor or K, it's always image over pre-image. Okay, so if they're giving you points, what are you looking at? It is prime over non-prime. So remember, this P, where's the other letters? They just have P? Okay, whatever. This little triangle P is your pre-image because see how it doesn't have the prime? See this P prime? This is your image. So these are going to be the numerator. This is a denominator. So it's going to be P prime over P. Okay, so give me a length. If I color code, X goes with 5. 12 goes with 4. And Y correlates to 6. Okay, pink, green, or blue, which one is my scale factor? Which color? Pink, green, or blue? Which one gives me two numbers? Green. And what, what's the fraction? If it's prime over non-prime, what's the fraction? 12 over 4. And so my scale factor, K, is 3. And so... Guys, I don't know why 
you guys are facing each other. Okay, so is it a reduction or an enlargement? Enlargement because it's greater than one. And now you guys have to find your X and your Y. And so again, you guys would set up your statement of proportionality. You'd have a, a pink. I was gonna put, I was gonna say blue and pink together. I said pink. Okay, you're gonna have a pink ratio, a blue ratio, and a green ratio. And remember your green ratio we found over here, but that is gonna be your scale factor. And then you solve it like we, would, we just did on the prior problem. Okay? Okay, let me, um, let me just kind of give you guys like 10 minutes and then, um, or are you guys, have you guys kind of looked at the bottom ones or what? Have you? Have some of you guys did this already? I think some of you have. All right, you're not doing number 20, so you guys could skip 20. You're doing 11 through 19. Okay, so then 11 through 16, remember if it's an enlargement, the number is greater than one. If it's a reduction, it's less than one. If it's isometric, I, I, so, metric, okay? Um, that means it's equal to exactly one. It's a twin, okay? Okay, this is like a big me, mini me. All right, so you go through that and that's it. All right, for 17, 18, and 19, it's always prime over non-prime. So A prime over A, and you can pick the X or the Y. G prime over G, B prime over B. If you want to find the scale factor, is always the image over the pre-image. And you can either take the X or the Y coordinate, but you would get the same value for the scale factor. Yeah? Okay. Um, I'll give you guys your, um, your test back. If you guys have work, um, um, yeah, oh yeah, when you guys finish this, I will give you credit for it. That's what Ronaldo asked. So let me, let me make sure I have my paper. Yeah, so when you guys finish this sheet, all right, just come on over to me and I'll give you credit for it, okay? All right, thanks guys. So let me stop.